Let me just say that I am so proud of all the things I'm getting checked off my to-do list. First and foremost being this table that I thrifted weeks ago and I dreaded having to sand this by hand. I don't know why, it's not that large of a table. And I feel like the camera doesn't even do it justice how bad these legs look in person. Problem wasn't that they were necessarily rusted. In fact, if they were, that would have been really easy to fix. More so they had like a texture to them. So in some places I was able to completely restore it back to normal and in others, not so much, but from a distance, you can't tell. All you gotta do is use aluminum foil and some warm water. So anytime I order takeout and it comes wrapped in foil, I save it. And don't forget the gloves because I should have been anticipating this, but I'm always in a hurry to do something. So I thought it would be fine. It wasn't. Therefore, you're going to want to protect the surface that you're working on. And if you are using any towels, make sure that they're ones that you don't mind being permanently stained or just are so dingy and have so many holes in them that you were gonna throw them away anyway. So that was step one and then realistically it took me like another two weeks to actually paint it and that looked really good but then I said you know what I probably need to put some type of coating on this because it's a table I'm gonna be using it and I'm also gonna need to clean it without wiping the paint off. Final step was a polyurethane.
also saw the little basket. I will admit it was an impulse buy and I do not condone this type of behavior. Never buy something before you know where it's going and what purpose it is serving in your house. But it was cute and most importantly, the price was good. And as you can see, it's quite tarnished. My assumption was right. This is in fact silver or silver plated. So for this, we're going to use baking soda and water. Somewhere around like three to one, whatever is the consistency you're finding easy without having to scrub really hard. If you remember the last apartment update, the tea station is gone. You saw my last um, Instagram reel on the like little bar cart that's not a cart. Maybe I don't hate it and I was just having a bad day. So I, I moved it again. I wanted to simplify the shelves because I also use this as a standing desk. So having all that stuff didn't really make that a seamless process. Like the goal is for the transition to always be easy. So that's why this isn't like really ornate and bonus is that it's easier to clean. Plus, who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna curate something that looks different every other week. And I don't know what it is. I feel like accomplished when I find something that I need and want that is also space saving. So these wine glasses. And I've had this stool from Ikea for like a while. Like they don't even sell those anymore. The imperfections are coming through. Therefore, I have been contemplating like updating it a little bit. Initially, I thought I might paint it, but I don't really want to like permanently alter it. They no longer make this version. I'm assuming because it's basically a dupe of the Alvaralto one. And since they've started reproducing it, I'm sure they shut that down real quick. But I do like the fact that you can get them colored. However, at no point would I ever pay 300, 200, any hundred for this. So of course, I'm a DIY. And I was initially even gonna put this on the table because I do want to cover that as well. I might do it in the future, but as it is right now, I actually like the juxtaposition between the table and the floor. And since blue was one of my dopamine colors, I was all for this like powder, corn flour, because I think it goes really well with the orangey yellow tones in the uh, chairs. And I used this razor designed specifically for vinyl wrapping, highly recommend. I also usually have the applicator that comes with it. It has like felt on the tip, but could not find it. Those imperfections are very clearly coming through because this contact paper is so thin.
So I just went for a double layer. I'm not sure if it helped. The room has to be well lit for you to notice. So this is the perfect location because you can't tell it all. the hook that I used in the bathroom for the hand towel came in a quantity of like six. So not only do I feel morally obligated to use all of them, I did also need to hang like additional seating. So those are the updates for now, but I'm not done. I also want to say that I have noticed the comments that some of you are really missing the what I eat in a week videos. So I got a whole bunch of meal prep for y'all, but I can promise you February, you're getting a zoomed out tour. So you can actually see everything together instead of these like little cropped vignettes. So if you aren't already subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.